Okay, let's begin. So this video is going to be a rendering tutorial. Um, so here we are. We are drawing a nebu nebu. How do you pronounce it? A, we are drawing a nebulizer. A nebulizer, for those who don't know, is basically a device that allows you to. Uh, take your medication orally through a misting vapor rather than an injection through the skin. So if you're scared of needles, do it where you want. I'm sure it has other uses. So if you look at most uh, nebulizers out there, they're big chunky units. And I think the reason for that, they don't really have to be because misting technology has come a long way these days with a vapen. And because this is a rendering tutorial, I will include the sort of sketch for you to download on the Patreon. You'll find that in the link below. Now, just a bit of housekeeping before we begin. To get the right brush set library up, this is what you got to do. So click into your brush set. At the moment, I am on the basic brush set. But what you want to do is you want to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You want the designer set. So what we're going to do is just hover over one, and then you click this little pin in the corner there. Click that, and that pins it to your sideboard. Now, we got that done, but we also need a few more of the other tools from the basic set. So scroll back up to your basic set. First we need the hard eraser, this guy. So click on that, and hold it, and drag it over to your set. Pop it wherever. And now that's in your designer set. The other one we also need is the pen tapered brush, which I believe is this... Ooh, where is it? Oh no, that's the design set. So we roll back up to the basic set, and we need this little guy here. Pen tapered brush, grab him, and drag him over. Pop him where you need him. And once you have those... Once you have those brushes, the hard eraser, which is... Hard eraser does this, because you're nice sh sharp. We'll make it bigger so you can see. Nice, fully 100% opacity erase, opposed to the soft eraser, which gives it a sort of a much softer edge erase. So you need that eraser and you need that pen. So that's the designer brush set is your main your main source of pens, which you will scroll at the bottom. Pin that, and then just grab those two brush sets, which is the hard eraser and the fine line pen. Put those into your designer brush set. And once you've got that, you are good to go. Okay, so I'm thinking of designing, designing sort of a quick little handheld one using new technology. So on my screen here, this is the sketch we have, and we're gonna jump straight into rendering. So skip the first rough sketch, sketch pattern. I'm doing this because I want this to be a, just a solely rendering tutorial. So let's begin. So our first, point of call is going to be color blocking. So so um, I want this to be sort of white I think. Hmm. What sort of white? Well, let's draw it in and then we'll go from there. So using our brush set designer paint tip tippered. That's just on full opacity. We are gonna just go around the edge. Like so. And then we can decide what color afterwards. It's definitely not going to be this green. Do not worry. Actually, instead of brushing it like that, I got an idea that will make this much nicer. Jump into our guides. layer again. So 
So in this color blocking stage, what we're doing now is we're just outlining everything. What that will help us with is after we've outlined everything, we can, that's out the bounds. So, Oops. All right. Sorry, it's very hard to talk to the camera and do this at the same time. So, if you're drawing along with me, hope you enjoy silence. Maybe get some music going. That's always a good way to draw. If I don't, if I'm not having to talk while drawing, I love listening to audiobooks. Audiobooks are my jam. At the moment, I'm listening to Dark Matter. Bly. Blake Crouch. So far, so good. And my battery's just about to run out. So. We are back. We are back. Sorry, I changed white balance because it's getting dark outside, so tungsten and lights are what we got. White balance changed. Okay, where are we? Still outlining, and I was telling you about... I told you about the audiobook. Yeah. Recommend it. I wonder what sort of audiobooks you guys listen to. Do you listen to audiobooks? Podcasts and audiobooks are definitely my jam. When it comes to, like, books... My favourite genre is definitely fantasy. I just... I don't know. For me... Books are like an escape, and traveling, I guess, using books to travel to another world is just, I don't know, it's cool. So I guess that's why fantasy appeals to me. I mean, what sort of, I wonder what sort of books appeal to you guys. Um, that's good. I'm definitely, I'm reading a good series at the moment on my iPad. Um, what's it called? Yeah, use Kindle. We're doing this. Oh yeah, it's the um, Conjuring the Light, Conjuring the Shadows, which is the... Yeah, it doesn't even say what. Anyway, those two. Quite good. Recommend. There you go. Now back to drawing. Get on to your work, Jacob. I've never been able to find a good between a work-life balance. It's something I need to get better at. I work a lot. Too much. Okay, so that's all coloured in. Woohoo! Okay, so... Using a bucket tool. Tap the inside twice. The reason we do it twice, here I'll show you why. Zoom in closer, tap it once, it leaves a little line around the edge, do it twice, gets rid of that line. Do the same there. 
And that's that colored. Looking good, looking good. Now we can, now this is when we can play around with different color choices. Let's try a dark. Mm. What a warm dark. That's quite nice. What a warm white. Potentially, potentially. A cool white. Quite liking that cool white. I think I might go with that. Now for the mask, oh, I'm in two minds here. I'm not going to draw the mask in, because if it's going to be slightly see-through, I might leave it. Hmm. I'll come back to that. Do I draw it in? Good question. I think if I want to have a good see through look, I shouldn't draw it in. Okay, I'm going to do something different. So jump into my sketch layer. Just pop some background in. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna render I'm gonna render the main part first, and then I'll put that all in and decide. So next I'm gonna get some texture. I want like an air duct on this area here. This area here. I want an air duct on this area here, so to do that, I'm going to jump over to here, go to my pen library. Instead of using a pen, I am going to use a texture. Which texture? Try... Let's try big holes. Big hole, big hole, little hole. Big hole, too big. Let's try a little hole. Let's get the complete black. Mm hmm, looking good, looking good. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna color. So, I should have done this earlier, but let's pop that back in. Pop your bow, thank you very much. Get your lips tall out. There we go, try and match it up again. Wish you could save ellipses. That would be helpful. If you could save an ellipse and then come back to the exact same shape very quickly, easily, I feel like that would be a winner. So it's kind of tricky finding the shape you used exactly. Bit bigger. figure it out later. Oh, fudge. Realized I drew that on the wrong layer.
good. Good. Bam. They don't look right. Eh, that's pretty right. Now, color choices. I'm thinking like a coppery kind of color. It's kind of nice. Actually, that's quite nice. I like that. Alright, that was easy. Now, I want that to be the air mesh. So, I want it to be a mesh. So, for mesh, we're going to jump up and grab this bad boy here. Turn you to black or a dark orange, perhaps. What are we looking like in the color we go? Yeah, I do the trick. So that's that's pretty good, yeah. That's pretty good. Except I might want to keep that layer separate, so I'm gonna just select that, jump over onto this layer, then jump back to my dotty brush. Hey, 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 hey. Select you. Jump over here, onto my dotty brush. Hey, watch it. Different select you. Jump onto my dotty brush. Thank you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Unselect you. Ugh. Toddy brush. Cover you. Okay. Now we're gonna warp you, my baby. Just gonna undo that. I don't wanna see that. Okay, so we're going to warp you so you don't look flat in line with the bottom stuff. Bigger, bigger. Brilliant. Jump into the warping. Now with warping, sort of try to get it so it's looking like That's good. That's erase what we don't want. Mm, 
no good, no good. Yeah, there we go. I am not liking that, and the reason I'm not liking that is because there's something wrong with that brush. So, bear with me, guys. Let's jump into the settings of this brush. What's up? What's up? Flow with heavy pressure down. Flow with light pressure down. And that's fine. It's also fine. Why is it giving me this dark thingy? Why are you giving me this dark thingy? What's it like? That looks a bit better. Okay. Let's go through the movements. Ooh, that's exactly what I wanted. That's brilliant. It gives a nice curve. Me like you that. Me like it that a lot. Okay, happy, happy, happy. Yep, head dies. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, we're back. So that's quite cool. That's something I didn't know about the warping tool is that you could make it bow. Quite cool. Okay, that's where we're at. Now that we've got to that stage, what we want to do this cool little trick which makes it catch light. So we're going to jump in here, duplicate that layer. Then we are going to turn that way white. Turn that way white. And we do that, we're going here. Going to white. And we're going to put that layer behind that layer. And then move it. Ever so slightly. Oh, now you get closer so you can get a better look at this. So we move the layer. And that, my friends, is a very cheap easy quick way to do highlights on thousands of little holes in one go so you don't draw them in separately shake up your eyes you know except I learned it from Sam so oh good okay 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 so I've got textures in I'm not sure how to render the mask yet so I'm gonna leave that so I'm gonna keep rendering the main body Okay. So far, so good. Pop some shadows above here. Now the shadows. You need your airbrush. Full black. Past the, let's get past the down. That airbrush. About 20. Size nice and big. So the secret of doing good shadows, nice shadows, especially on smooth surfaces, is to have nice big brushes. okay to go over. At least I hope it's okay to go. I'm going over. And don't be afraid to get dark. You can always turn the opacity down later. That sometimes it's better to go dark now. And turn the opacity down later. So don't think small whenever you're doing these strokes. Big strokes. Big brushes. So 
the lights sort of come from the back, so... Turn it back a wee bit in some places. So whenever you're doing shadows you think big strokes. And you can erase small. Always apply big, erase small. That's what I've learned through a multitude of mistakes. Play big, erase small. Well, in this case, I'm erasing big. But you get, you know. You know, you know. Sometimes it's nice to erase with the soft eraser. That's when it bleeds over the edge just slightly. But if you want to be efficient with your race train, a sharp eraser is the way. I just realized I haven't called that in. Well, push me a smart my man. That's good, that's good. Put me back on. Bingo. And we're back to erasing. So yeah, a soft eraser does seem to do quite a bit of good when erasing off the edges. It just, yeah, sometimes you're all drawing down a wee bit, which is quite nice. Now, I might just pull you back a wee bit. That's quite nice here, yeah, that's quite nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
flew way down to this part. You're painting again, Jacob. Not painting. Okay. That's good, that's good. Pretty good. Now I might just do it on this next part. <coughs> oh, bless me. Bless me. So. Okay, I'm gonna do another pass over here. Oop. down here. Just bring up that shadow just slightly more. I do. Quite liking that, quite liking that. Oh yeah, shadow on this part. Forgot about that. I'm going to lock that part. Good. I think we might be ready for the highlights here. Alright. Highlight time. So it's my highlights above here. Can I rename it here? So how it's exactly the same as shadows, you're just using solid white and you're putting it in the places where the light is hitting and not where the light isn't hitting. Similar, similar, same process, big brush and then erase little, ply big, erase little, ply big, erase little. You get the drift eh? Mr. Swift. Play it big. Erase little. Let's 
pretty big. Not big-ish. Turn it down slightly. <laughs> and the lid on top. Thank you for your nice comments. But me's a busy right now, mamma mia. Still going? Still going. Good, good, good. Nice. Just a little highlight. Now there might be a bit more bounce light under here just to, just to carve that a bit better. That's nice. Like that. Um, I think it's coming out quite well. Still a bit above them. Constrain you again. Oops. Select. Jump over here. Airbrush selected. Nice big airbrush. It's pretty good. I'll try to shape that back with a bit more of a rubber. Hey, I wonder. Okay, now that that's totally misleading. Oh, that's pretty good. I think. Yeah, that seems to do the trick.
Okay, it's now dinner time. So it means to take a break now. So unfortunately the screen recording crapped out on me again at the end so I don't have any recording of me rendering the actual mask part. I'm really sorry for that. Anyway, I'll pop a picture down and try your best to imitate it. But hence, I sort of applied the blue with an airbrush to give it that sort of transparent look. And then I went over with a few sort of darker blues for the shadows and then highlights. Went over with an airbrush and then erased with a sharp eraser to give it that sort of crisp window light reflections to it. That's how you do it. So I'll pop the picture up now and you guys can figure it out on your own. I'm really sorry. Um, these videos will get a bit better once I sort of develop a system around how to screen record and, re and video at the same time. It will get better and I'll, I'll release another one next week. So keep up drawing guys and I'll see you in the next video and thanks for supporting.